I'm Tom Merritt from Daily Tech News Show. These are the top five failed operating systems. There's failures. Operating systems are the lifeblood of computing, but there are so few that most people use. Windows and Mac OS, Android and iOS. Maybe some of you use Chrome OS or one of the many fine distros of Linux, but in the long decades of computer history, other operating systems have tried and failed. Sometimes they burned bright, often they were great, but in the end, each of these OSs fell short in mainstream acceptance. Let's count down as tribute, the top five OS failures. At number five, BlackBerry OS 10. Let's be clear, the BlackBerry OS was a success for a long time, but over time, its popularity declined. BlackBerry 10 released in January 2013, but it was kind of the last gasp. It was based on QNX, and it was a beautiful piece of software engineering, supporting the Android runtime and the Adobe Air runtime. Remember that one? It launched in January 30th, 2013, and was promised to come to the BlackBerry Playbook tablet, but it never did and its last major update was a year later, in June 2014, when it added the Amazon App Store. Its final release was in April 2018. It lasted a mere five years. Coming in at number four, WebOS. Palm launched this phone operating system with the Palm Pre at CES in January 2009. It had a unique visual system based on blades, and the Palm Pre won Best of CES in 2009 in large part because of WebOS. Sadly, HP bought Palm a year later, and despite praising WebOS up and down, by February 2013, HP had sold WebOS to LG, which does still use it in its televisions. LG made WebOS open source in 2018. Up to number three, OS2. Initially a seemingly successful joint development of IBM and Microsoft, debuting in December 1987. But after a fight over how to position OS2 related to Windows 3.1, Microsoft took its toys and went home. And in 1992, it became an IBM exclusive. The last version of OS2 was released in December 2001. Now, it's still developed under the name Arca OS by Arca Noe, and arguably it was a success in the enterprise, just never quite as much of a success as Windows NT, Unix, or even Linux distros like Red Hat. Sliding in at number two, Windows, me. Windows me succeeded Windows 98 and ostensibly stood for Millennium Edition. It was released in June 2000, remember that date, and is the only version of Windows that I personally have never run. Uh, at best, it was light on new features, and at worst, it was accused of major stability problems. And it had a very short run, being replaced in October 2001 by Windows XP. Honorable mention here goes to Windows Phone, which was an excellent mobile OS that just never got traction. At number one, Get your shot glasses out, pour a little out for BOS. Ah, BOS, one of the best operating systems ever made, and yet star-crossed never to gain mainstream adoption. First developed in 1990 to run on the AT&T Hobbit-based hardware, and of course later on PowerPC-based hardware. Apple almost bought it, but CEO Jean-Louis Gasset wanted $300 million so Apple bought Next instead, which brought Steve Jobs back to Apple and unfortunately left BOS out in the cold. B sold to Palm in 2001, but it does live on in its spiritual successor, the open source OS Haiku. Listen, it is better to have compiled and failed than to never have been installed at all. Shout out to Apple Copeland, CPM, Amiga, and so many others that could have made this list. What do you think? Tell us the OS failure you missed the most in the comments. And if you want more great tech news, like and subscribe our channel right here, youtube.com slash daily tech news show. Get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. And if you can, support us at patreon.com slash DTNS. We'll see you there.